Happy Monday, you guys. Hope you're. I hope you had a great weekend. And I'm uh, showing you a little bit of beta gameplay from Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2, which is uh, free to play as far as the beta is concerned right now. Uh, and through the twenty, the twentieth of September, I believe, on PlayStation consoles. And uh, yeah, it's it's Call of Duty. So my first glimpse at this game was about a week ago watching some of the alpha playtest of Warzone, which a lot of content creators that make stuff for, had been making stuff for Warzone almost exclusively, uh, were got, got an opportunity to play. And um, the first thing I noticed about that was it looked a little slower paced, it looked a little more gritty, uh, only two plates instead of three, no slide canceling, a lot of things that a fan of more tactical shooters really had something to look at and be like, you know what, this might be a game I want now. Um, it's been a while since Call of Duty really hit me other than playing Warzone occasionally. Like I never just, buying the actual game just has been out of the window for me for quite some time. But seeing that alpha footage, I was like, maybe, maybe this is something I'm ready for. But I gotta tell you, I don't know why I was surprised, but um, the multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2 during this beta is probably exactly what I should have expected, but the pace is not slowed down whatsoever. People are still jumping all over the place. Dolphin diving, which apparently it's come back from uh, older Battlefield titles. Um, I just remembered, firstly, I guess that Call of Duty multiplayer is just not my style of FPS from a, a smaller scale shooting standpoint, 6v6 kind of style matches, not my thing. Just the way that they're, they're set up and, and just the pace and speed and, and the there's a lot of gimmicks and there's always has been with Call of Duty but and not all 6v6 like Rainbow Six Siege I had uh, a decent amount of fun with it's not necessarily the size that the problem it's more the the just the gameplay in general you know I playing Warzone for a little while you kind of forgot about it I guess or I forgot about it but um, so firstly yeah multiplayer not my hugest fan I mean there are some fun things with this game let me tell you that right off the bat third person actually provided something very interesting I didn't think I was going to like but I ended up kind of think it's pretty damn cool you know when i heard third person call of duty i'm thinking there's no way that's going to make any kind of sense and let's be 100 percent honest it needs a lot of polishing and it needs some significant upgrades maybe here and there um but i think for some more tactical game modes maybe non-respawn game modes even you know this is something that might scratch a bit of an itch something like socom if you guys are familiar with that game back in the day uh, playstation 2 uh, one of the very first games i ever played online and, and made friends playing um, this had little reminiscence reminiscent you know artifacts of that um, you, you see that when you aim down sights you automatically go into first person mode so there's unless you're hip firing there's no third person firing um, but we were limited to only playing respawn game modes and in, in the more typical uh, multiplayer 6v6 game modes but i think third person really uh, could have its own set of game modes or at least maybe one or two added into the regular ones that are already a part of it uh, to get set it apart a little bit because i do think it provides a different level of of Gameplay, obviously, different pace. It does require you to slow down. I mean, it absolutely does because you can see around corners. So you're getting far less people, you know, just jumping, spinning and jumping around stuff and you know, all that, all doing all the ballet stuff is minimized quite significantly. And it just feels a little more methodical, feels a little more tactical. So I think that that's really cool. Um, I got to say that right up front. There's also a lot of talk about how gunplay was significantly changed and improved upon. And to be honest with you, aside from aesthetics, I don't, I don't really see it. Um, the guns are different, obviously, because they're all modern now. Um, all of them are modern. But aside from that, I mean, it, it, it doesn't. It feels just like it doesn't feel any different. I mean, really, um, if you played Modern Warfare 19. It's going to be very much like that, which shouldn't be a huge surprise again. But um, they made a big emphasis. They put a big emphasis on, on gunplay being it greatly improved or greatly changed at the very least. I don't think improved is the right word because I don't know that there was anything wrong with it if that's what you were a fan of. But I don't really see a huge difference. So the guns look better. Uh, the gunsmith is actually pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of hardcore Modern Warfare or hardcore Call of Duty fans are going to have issues with it because it is different and naturally people don't like things that are different at least at first but ultimately i think that is a pretty cool 
concept, the way that you use receivers to change your weapon class and then upgrade throughout that progression system is unique and does provide a, a new way to enjoy that grind of leveling up weapons. But other than that, I do, I mean, it, it, it's very much just what, what you thought it would be. Now, having said all of that, I'm not going to be purchasing the full game um, because I know the regular multiplayer part of this game that you know, we're getting at least a, a decent chunk of in this beta is just not something I'm overall, overall interested in. Like I said, the third person mode is something that I feel like I could maybe get down with, but I'm not paying $70 for that. And I'm not playing $70 to find out if I like the campaign enough to want to continue playing it. Um, I will probably be getting the free Warzone 2.0 once that releases. And I think that that's where a lot of people who weren't already hardcore Modern Warfare or hardcore Call of Duty fans are going to be on this on this game. If they had a chance to play this, they're going to go, okay, hey, it's not terrible. It's not great. Um, I want to see what Warzone's like. That's, I think, where a lot of people are, and that's exactly where I'm at. I do like some of the stuff they did it. I like the fact that it's modern. Uh, I do like that slide canceling is gone, but, of course, now there's duck diving or dolphin diving, and everybody's still jumping around like, a, like they're on a trampoline. But other than that... I do think it's going to provide some some good fun, and I do think Warzone has probably always been a little more my my speed in that. Granted, the TTK is super high compared to the multiplayer, but the, the there's more tactical gameplay involved, especially if you're playing with a team. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing what that's about. So I, ultimately, what is Modern Warfare 2? Well, it's it, it's so far it's exactly what I thought it would be. It's not what I hoped it would be. I hoped it would be this gritty kind of slower version of previous Call of Duties, but with some of the same, you know, uh, gameplay in it. But it's it's really it's really not that. It's it's the multiplayer is very fast. It's faster and more gimmicky than I wanted it to be. Unfortunately, that's also I shouldn't be surprised by that. So we'll have to see what Warzone's like. I do think it's going to be good. I have a feeling just watching the alpha gameplay, it looks like they've got a good roadmap for making that a, a very enjoyable game mode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, like the video, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications so you know when more content drops. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you later.